My true Yarens, I stand before you armed with truth. For too long, our country was stolen by politicians. But you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own brilliant scientists, the most effective treatment for cancer the world has ever seen, grown within our precious tobacco, modified with the purest fertilizer, Viviro, is the key to rebuild paradise. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy, but to do what's right. And so, with renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island Chosen to produce enough Viviro to heal the world and save our country. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Even my own son, Diego, could be drafted tomorrow. Hey, Danny. And like a true Yaran, he Turn will that shit off. with a smile on his face. Precisamente. Exactly what Castillo wants. Enough politics, Lita. You think the draft is only taking true Yarans? It's the outcasts, the poor, orphans like us. He's bringing slavery back from the dead. In Yara, you can't run from this. Hang on. You ditched us. Ran off to the jungle with a bunch of guerrillas. Libertad. Hmm? Now you're back here to recruit for Clara Garcia's local crusade? Come on, this is our big goodbye. Danny, fucking say something. They got my name wrong. Danny, you could help Libertad. You're trained. Would have been career military if you weren't such a fuck off. <laughs> Just come with us, Lita. Hi. You never fucking listen, Danny. Hey, time to go. Boss waiting. He drinks in Mexico. Dinner in Miami. <laughs> Coño! Fucking blackouts. Too big for a blackout. You fucking pack it? Oh yeah, do you know what's going on? In the mundo! Rapiste must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. Shit. What the fuck? Rapiste must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. Alejo, no! Don't! Must Alejo, duty. get down! You will join Fuck Castillo! Alejo! Raftis must report for duty. You will join Danny, us to reveal paradise. We have to go. Now! Check the rooftop Raftis now! The boat. You're coming. You will join promise me, Lita. Paradise. See. Come on, Danny. We have to get to the boat. Okay, Danny. When we get to Miami, we'll say goodbye to Alejo. I promise. Coño, get down! Shit! There's nobody here. Hey, Rojas, should have answered the call. Next asshole who opens the door is Danny Rojas. Come on. Get out here! We're looking for Danny Rojas! This way. I'm warning you! Okay, okay. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. What the fuck? Come on! I have a family! Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot! Come on, we gotta move. We need to get across that square. 
They're going to see us. No, they Trust me. That's a lot of soldiers, Lita. So we take the source. Stay with me, Nita. Shit. Nita, zip line. Go, go, go! Just like fucking boot camp. Oh, shit! Done. You okay? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I wasn't here. Lita, where are you? The Torre de Leon, Castillo's fucking castle. Honey, over here. Over there. Another seat. The rest of you, line up against the wall for protest. Where the fuck are the police? They're just letting the military kill us? La noche de la muerte. The boat's over there. Run! Shit. Keep moving, Lita. We're almost there. on that boat. Abuela, what the hell I'm gonna do with baseball cards? Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through. Oh, oh yeah. Marco, always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? He gave up his ticket. For his family. Bullshit. Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. <sighs> Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get out of boxing, gal! Get us on! I ain't not running to the Yankees. Aleo gave you a fucking gift, Lira. We survived. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? Please, no, no, this is a fishing boat. You mean, no, no! no. He was El Presidente. Mi papa loved to fish. 
We would go out on a boat, just like this. And we would catch the fish, and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mijo. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. Sit there, oh no! You have poison, Yara! You have poison, your son! I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. Thirteen years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. What the hell just happened? You fucked. I can't feel my legs. Fuck, Lita. This is all my fault. My phone. Forget it, Lita. My phone. This is the beach, Danny. It's fucking fate. What? She's hiding here. Clara. Libertad. Julio. Fuck. Julio. It's all here. Take my phone. Follow the code like when we were kids. Stop it. Lita. Just wait. I'll find help. No. You give her this. Clara will help you. Don't you get it? You're the lucky one, Danny. You're the lucky one. Lo siento, Lita. many dead. Coño, I should look for supplies and get the fuck out of here. Shit. Pistol's empty. Need to find that camp. How the fuck is this still working? The markings must be the code Lita was talking about. Shit. 
Who's shooting? Better stay quiet. Antonio is the a patrol. I can Stay sharp. She's still here. This has to be the way. the only one looking for Clara. <sighs> What's this? Would be useful. Get to Libertà. Steal a boat. Sail the fuck out of Yara. Easy. And now I'm talking to myself. Perfecto. Oh fuck. Bad time to be a guerrilla. Been a while since I used one of these. doesn't want visitors. Gonna show your face before you shoot me? I'm Danny, a friend of Lita. Silencio. You are the only survivor? Answer me. I said, are you the only survivor? See. Si. Lucky. Lita knew the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here. That's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. <laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay, a few days. Libertas no charity, hermana. Lita said you'd help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. Come mierda. Ah! <clears throat> You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny, Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Quoting Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Albizu. Gonna save Yara with library cards. I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. Ayara free of Castillos. Simple. Simple. Castillos got, what, 300,000 troops? I count six burnt out guerrillas and you with a bullet to the leg. You don't believe me? I'll show you. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. Hit a Viviro tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. But Castillo's forces were waiting. Got us down from 60 to 6. You need to get back to your base. Yes, but this island is surrounded by a blockade. We don't have boats, we don't have much gear. And we are not leaving until that Viviro plantation goes up in smoke. But we are guerrillas. We know this land inside out. You're already familiar with our guerrilla paths. They were built by the legends in 67. 
They're spread like a web across all of Yara. Now, they're ours. Guerrilla paths are good to ambush soldados or to hide if the army is on your back. They have caches that will help you survive. And all of this is legit? This map is old as hell. Made for turistas, yeah, it's out of date, but you got the regions, municipalities, and landmarks of Yara. He'll get used to it. Now I need to call in some favors with the locals to get us a boat, and you need to go find me Juan Cortez. Who? Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? You tell Lita then? I'll give you food, a bed, even a goddamn boat to sail to the Yankees. But it's gonna cost you bullets and blood. You can shoot, so shoot. Settle in, and let me know when you want to pay your rent. Hello, my friend. Done. We need to talk. I attacked this archipelago with a man named Juan Cortes. He helped me build Libertad from the dirt. Juan's a spy master from the pre-Castillo days. Can build an ICBM from a goddamn ice cube tray. Pulled off ops for Espinosa, the KGB, then flipped to the CIA and Mossad for fun. Juan is my mentor. He's also unstable and an alcoholic. When shit went south, he was so embarrassed, he walked straight out of my camp. Castillo soldados would love nothing more than to capture a double agent like Cortez. I need him back with Libertad, Danny. He's done with us, but you're a fresh face. Take this earpiece. Juan made them for comms, then head to the village. If I were you, I would check the bar first. Get down to that village and bring me Cortez. I hope for your sake he's sober. What do you want? You're not one of us. Danny, how's the earpiece? Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. The spy shit works, Clara. I'll give you that. Bien. Keep your gun holstered if you want to stay out of trouble, especially in areas with a lot of soldados. See, si, I got it. A smart guerrilla picks their battles. Suerte. That looks like a Juan. Today we drink in the worst fucking cantina in Yara. Or is it Colombia? Kirat, Chechnya. Leave the bottle. Let's work for you. Another. Guapo, you listen. Rule 16. A guerrero's revolution never ends. 
Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez? What do you think gave it away, Wapo? This isn't a fucking zoo, abuelo. Clara sent me to find you. See, I learned long ago never to doubt her. You will too. Hey, I know you. Don't think so. Yeah, I know you. It's like I'm looking at a mirror, Wapo. What are you talking about? Those eyes, guerrilla. You got a taste. You convince yourself you're a hero, but you wake up a junkie, just like Juan Cortez. This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can't whistle. Coño! Bala, venga! You fucking rat. You were more dead anyway. What the fuck? See, Wapo is in love with you. And I ruined the only copy of my book. Bueno, mis socios, vámonos. Once again, we have outstayed our welcome. Someone is firing. Okay, we're good. Let's get the hell out of here before the whole fucking army shows up. I'm drunk, oh, shit. but I'm not that drunk. Right behind you, old man. Wapo wants to be your friend. Or maybe he just needs to take a dump. Only one way to find out. Vamos! Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. Good waffle. I can go on you. Juan is talking. I can tell you handled a gun before. What's your name? Danny. So Clara says you're a legend. XKGB, XCIA. <laughs> I got more fucking X's than your porn search history. Some men, they break eggs for breakfast. But Juan Cortez, he breaks fucking country. Hold up. New plan, Danny. Vamos. The plan is to go back to Clara's camp. Where the hell are we going now? Danny, over here. Juan Cortez. See that smoke? That means the Watchtower just got a supply drop with some of the rarest material. And you are going to go get it. Now you want me to steal shit for you? Gunpowder and Supremo Bond. The Cerveza and Chaser of Resolver. I'm gonna teach you to make shit for weapons. Because making shit for weapons is cool. And it's rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. You coming with me? Fuck no. You got Huapo. You can tear shit up with him. But if you want to be sneaky, leave him behind. That cutie loves to make a mess. At least you're here to help, Papa. Weapon or not, military will shoot me on sight here. Going down! Cuidado! Adelante! Venga! What's happening? Shit!
Guess this could be useful. This is more like it. shit for one. Found all your shit, Juan. Good work, Danny. Now hurry up already. We need to get back to Clara's camp. That's what I've been saying. Okay, we got more than enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. So what's with all this junk? You building something? Patience, Danny. Rule number eight. A guerrilla knows how to wait. Like a spider or a serial killer. So, how did you get to this godforsaken hellhole? I was on a refugee ship. We didn't get far. Yeah, yeah. And I came here on a chopper in our baby invasion of Santuario. Shot straight out of the goddamn sky. No, I mean, what's your story? Orphanage in Esperanza. And the military. I'm no guerrilla. Just helping Clara out until she gets me off this island. Rule 20. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. Enough with that shit. Too late. The horse is out of the barn and now the fucking cocaine is all over the kids, Danny. There is no other option. America is my option. <laughs> of course. And you think Americans want your yarn blood? The American dream is for Americans, Danny. You don't quit, do you? Nope. Guapo hates quitters. Coño. If you two are so close, why is he following me? Guapo goes with those who need him most. Like those therapy dogs in your precious America. You can trust Guapo with your life. Yeah. Not sure I'm there yet. You got time. You said your chopper was shot down in the invasion. Can you fix it? So I can fly you to the Yankees? No, I... It's grounded, but I'm working on it. Patience, Danny. Now it's time for Juan Cortez to show you how to make something out of nothing. Did I ever tell you rule number nine? You just did. Always use the right tool for the right job. Words to live by. Okay. The legend returns. The legend needs to piss, Hefa. Who's she? She was a journalist who dared call Anton Fascista. Now she's an outcast, a slave for his paradise. And she's not the only one, Danny. Time you learn about Resolver, Danny. I was six when I rigged my first bike with a chainsaw motor. The blockade means I have to Resolver every day, Juan. Nah, that's survival. For a guerrilla, Resolver isn't just making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos with everything you've got. Keep talking. A guerrilla's best weapon is the workbench. Go ahead, let's take a crack at those weapons. No offense, but your battle rifle is Rule little... number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. In Sometimes this... I lie awake at night asking... Excellent, Danny. Now you can pop enemy flesh like a ripe watermelon. Okay, let's look at your other rifle. 
Let's say your target remembered to wear their helmet. These rounds fly straight and true. Nice! Now you got your own supply of high-velocity war crimes. Let's look at your attachments. Time to make your very first suppressor. This will turn a bang! See how easy that was? Now you can silently headshot your enemies like a real asshole. The workbench is your friend, Danny. A friend with benefits. Danny, get cozy with it. Damn. Making shit is addictive. With that workbench, you can build a new Yara. You ready? Danny. Easy as smoking a cigar on Sunday. I can't help but notice that you are still here. What? You're in the right place, Danny. My name is Raisa, and I'm going to be helping you steal shit from Castillo today. Are you going to tell me what I'm stealing? Depleted uranium. Perdón, I, I thought you just said uranium. You heard me. Look, all I know is I burned my last contact in the army tracking it down for Juan. You ex-military? Isn't everybody? Okay. Just show me where it is. First, you take this parachute. Trust me, it can save your life. Now I'll take you to the old Spanish fort. They've got it locked up inside. What's the problem? Okay, stay close. Conscript or volunteer? Conscript. My number came up, so I did my time. You? Volunteer. All I wanted to be was a soldier. You know, wear the uniform, serve my country. Found out the only kind of soldier Castillo wants is a blind fascist addicted to his every word. So now you're a traitor. Yeah, and I'm not the only one. There's a guard posted at the watchtower ahead. He's going to let us use it to scout out the fort. He can also give us useful info. What does he want from us? One, not to get his ass shot. So keep your gun holstered or he'll open fire. Two, a little bribe to these double agents will get us military intel. Right. No weapons. Pesos ready. There he is. Hope you got some pesos on you. Tell me what you know. Okay, check this out. Here's where you can find some weapons around here. Appreciate it. Sure. Whatever you and Raisa are about to do, I don't want to be around for it. Everyone's got their price. Not every soldier's a fanatic. Some are just trying to feed their family. Just remember to put the guns away before you approach them. Use your phone to scout out enemy soldiers and see their weaknesses. I bet Juan's already giving you his right tool for the right job talk. There's the officer in charge. Alvarez has the key to the armory. Careful, Danny. He's higher rank. 
in Castillo's army. That means he's better trained, quicker with the trigger, and a tough motherfucker. This fort is the most protected base on the island. These soldiers have been issued with body armor and helmets. Nothing armor piercing rounds can't handle. Use the workbench if you need to craft some, and then go snatch that uranium, Danny. That parachute I... This wasn't everybody? Found the armory. The uranium is inside. The uranium. Got your fucking uranium, one! Then get your ass back to me! 
Next time there better one. One. Hola. Oh yeah, Juan. <laughs> this is the Solver, Danny. Depleted uranium. Soviets left these sexy byproducts of nuclear enrichment behind in the 80s. Yankees use it for tank armor and bullets. <laughs> Crazy assholes. Sounds dangerous. You'll be a fucking superhero, Danny. Lita and I used to sneak these into the orphanage. Essential reading while waiting to fuck up convoys in the mud. A guerrilla must be a sponge for inspiration. Okay, but what the hell is this? This is a supremo. Looks like a rocket launcher. See, si, she does that too. One more thing. I want you to meet Tostador. The two go together like fire and fury. I like how you resolve it, Juan. So do I. Supremos are like a good lover. Or a great sandwich. Are you just hungry, Juan? Yes, but I'm talking about layers, Danny. Head to the workbench and I'll show you. Supremos aren't just simple tools of... Let's take a look at that Supremo. The special ingredient that makes this all happen is... Pick a gadget, Danny. This is a safe space. There's no wrong answer here. Excellent. Now go talk to Clara. Time to give that Supremo a workout. Now go talk to Clara. Time to put that Supremo to use, guerrilla. We need to talk. I don't need to tell you that Viviro is the lifeblood of Castillo's regime. He's built work camps to produce it all over Yara. These plantations use outcasts as slaves to grow the tobacco plants they turn into Viviro. These are our people, Danny. Beaten, tortured, sprayed by poison chemicals. There's a camp on this island. We tried to destroy it when we invaded. We failed. Now we're going to finish the job. Julio is waiting for you at a nearby barn. Hit that slave camp hard. Suerte. I didn't think you'd show. Listen, I'm not going to bullshit you. I wanted to do this alone, but Clara gave me an order. I can handle myself. Don't give a shit. So could Lita. She should be here right now, but instead, I get you. And I'm supposed to be in Miami, but instead, my two best friends are dead, and I'm stuck here with you. So, truce? Enough talk. Step one, we hit the tobacco. 
Step two, we destroy their poison supply. Step three, we get the fuck out of there and Castillo gets a nice pretty message from Libertad. Got it. Take this gear. It'll protect you from fire and more importantly, Castillo's fucking poison. Using the right protective gear in the right situation will keep you alive. Yeah, right tool for the right job. Been hearing that a lot lately. Listen, Julio. Lita was like a sister to me. She shouldn't have been on that fucking boat. She died because of you. Okay, she shouldn't have been on that fucking boat. She died because of you, Ross. No. Anton Castillo killed Lita. If I could change anything, it would be me dying on that beach. Lita was a better person than I could ever be. And if she loved you, well, that just says a lot about who you are. Enough. Look, if you and I are going to do this, we need to know about the poison. You mean that shit they spray on the leaves? Its real name is PG-240, but we call it the poison because it fucked up your system. Try not to breathe it or get it on your skin. It can make you go fucking crazy or sick, like deep down sick. And if that doesn't get you, the cancer that grows inside you will. Coño. So you're military. Marksman? Close us all? What's your thing? I'm good with guns. We get along. We'll start thinking. That gear I gave you is good for fire and poison, but guerrillas need gear that fits their style. No matter the situation, or they get themselves killed. This is a good place to scout it. Right behind you. Let's see what we're up against. Up here, Dale. Burn this fucking place to the ground.
On my way. Hmm. Burning shit with a flamethrower. <laughs> Felt familiar. You really can hold your own. I don't want to say I told you so, but... <laughs> Look, we should move. That was a hell of a light show, and they're going to see the smoke. We work well together. See, si. Listen, if you are good with Lita, you're good with me. Gracias, Danny. Meet you back at camp. I think I lost that. 